In some cases, it is required to run the simulation with a different setting for the first stage and then switch to a different setting at a later stage. One such example would be a complex natural convection simulation where there are rotating parts that are driving the flow besides the effect of natural convection. Such a case can be difficult to converge with the gravity enabled from the start. So it's recommended that we run the case without gravity turned on for 100 or so iterations at which point the flow would have stabilized and then turn on gravity and continue the run until convergence. This can be done by going to calculation activities. Here we can turn on automatically initialize and modify case. Click on edit. Go to the case modification tab. You can see that this case modification tab allows for defined modifications. And here we can allow for as many modifications as needed. For our case, we simply require one modification. So we want to run with original settings for let's say 100 iterations and then we'll apply our modification 1 and run until convergence. Now to find out the command that we need to enter for our modification 1, we need to go to our text user interface. Since we want to apply gravity, we will go to define, then go to operating conditions. Here we select gravity and we do yes enter 0 for x component, 0 for y component and 9.81 for z component. So now we know the exact formula that is required for modification 1. So let's change our gravity back. So let's go to boundary conditions panel, click on operating conditions, turn off gravity. And here we enter the command that we require to turn on gravity at a later stage. So we enter the command just as we entered in our text user interface. And with this command we want to run for let's say another thousand iterations. And click on OK. Now this case will run for 100 iterations with no gravity turned on and once it reaches that stage, it will turn on the gravity and run for another thousand iterations until convergence is reached.